Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick comparison between two very similar but different species spruce trees uh, common throughout the Rocky Mountains in the US and Canada. They are the Engelmann spruce and the white spruce. So on the left hand side here we have uh, a branch and a couple of cones from the Engelmann spruce and on the right hand side is the white spruce with a few cones. Uh, both examples have uh, this year's cones and some from last year. So a, a couple older and a couple uh, newer. And then the one in the middle here is something that shows a little bit of each. So these are two species that do hybridize and are honestly not that easy to tell apart. So there's a couple ways uh, number one, uh, where they're found. The Engelmann spruce tends to be found at higher elevations to tree line, um, right up to yeah, right up to the tree line, right into the almost alpine. And white spruce tends to be more common at lower elevations. Both trees get about the same height in certain circumstances. Of course, not at the tree line, but uh, so uh, it's it is it is it can be tricky to tell them apart. So let's first look at the needles. Uh, here is the Engelmann spruce. And in this particular branch, and most of that I find, this one came from kind of a subalpine location. And they, are, they do seem to me to be a little bit thicker than needles. And then here we have a white spruce that came from a much, much lower elevation. And they are a little bit thinner. And I've heard that the Engelmann spruce needles can be a little sharper. In this case, I see the opposite. But um, so we'll look at the cones now because this is where it becomes somewhat easy to identify. So here we go with the Engelmann cone. And you can see that the cone scales are almost pointed. They almost look like a flathead screwdriver. And the white spruce, if we come over this way, are quite round. They don't have that point on the scales. Now, I apologize because the sun is not doing this, uh, doing me any favors here. I can turn this around. So you can see the rounded scales and then one that looks a bit on the in-between side. Let's, uh, oops. Let's have a look at that. So you can see there's there's characteristics from both, it looks to me, where there's a slight variation in that scale. And then if we look at the pure Engelman here, we have definite, not round, kind of that flathead screwdriver style end of that uh, cone scale. And as well on this, new cone you can see the same so one of those things that is is not super easy to do but once you once you have that one if you have a cone handy that's to me the easiest way the bark looks very similar I, I personally can't tell between the bark um, but the cones when you go into the higher altitudes and you can get a pure specimen um, it's it's very apparent that there is a difference so anyway i hope this is somewhat informative just to show a little bit about the identification of each of these species and uh yeah i'll end it there thanks